Hello and welcome to the Etika World Network. My name is Etika, and um, if you're not familiar, this channel is basically about delivering news and relevant events, and not only that, but a bunch of other things too. But um, anyways, um, I know many of you are aware that I had a pretty long absence, about maybe a month or two, and um, I know that the reason was a little bit out of nowhere and it was a bit unorthodox however at the end of the day the situation came out to me not being able to have a computer and so not only that but just in general a lot of things happened to me this summer and so all that aside I was ready to move on and I'm ready to deliver more content for you guys so of course the question was okay where do I get a computer from I looked at multiple computer brands to be able to determine the one that I would need that would suit my needs the best and seeing as how I'm a video producer I need something that'll be able to put out videos like lightning speed render without any lag RAM previews out the asshole and so after looking through a lot of computers I wanted to make sure that if I did spend my money I got the most out of it. Now at the same time I didn't really want to customize or build a computer myself not only for the fact that it would be a lot of work on me and I didn't exactly have a place to stay per se even though I did my aunt is very very kind but at the same time I didn't really have somewhere stable so I wouldn't have a place to put a desktop or anything like that and so I felt that I needed to treat myself with something and so looking through multiple brands I finally decided on Alienware and Alienware would be a very interesting laptop I think for my work because it's very powerful it handles a lot of applications a bit overpriced but at the same time you do get a good amount of quality for what you pay for I mean it's a very solid build it looked like and so I, I pretty much went and splurged and got myself one of the best builds for the Alienware uh, models and I got an M14X with an i7 Ivy Bridge 2.7 gigahertz up to 3.8 gigahertz I also got um, 16 gigabytes of RAM for those awesome RAM previews for video production and rendering um, I got a 2 gigabyte GeForce NVIDIA um, 650M graphics card just to be able to handle any gaming that I might want to do you know you know I mean my motto is work hard play even harder man so not only that um, I also got it with a 256 gigabyte solid state drive which as you know is very expensive per gigabyte however the speed difference is a phenomenal although there are some precautions that you have to take with solid state drives I mean it has a limited amount of rights so you have to make sure that you know turn off defragmenting and such and such but whatever the case may be um, this is the start of a new age in the ethical world network because now there is absolutely no excuse that content shouldn't be delivered so here it is the Alienware M14X arrived today in the mail and I am extremely excited about this opportunity and so what better way to kick off the Etika World Network's return than with an unboxing of my brand new product. Now we're going to get into this and um, please forgive me if I manage to overdo something or I skip a uh, detail in the unboxing video. I mean I'm pretty excited as you can see. My balls are so heavy right now so I'm um, yeah, let's get it in. Um, let me get that pair of scissors that I had. And um, I'll be as thorough as possible while explaining the description of the video and the unboxing itself. So um, whatever the case may be, let us embark. Ah, okay. So it's a very nice box, of course. I mean, the Alienware head. Not exactly as um, pretty as some of the other boxes that they were that sent out earlier. Um, one of the boxes had a very pretty, um, kind of like a scaly type thing with like shining on it, but I didn't get that, so they obviously don't like me. <laughs> Anyways, um, opening it up. My, my body is so ready. It's like, all right. So, opening the box at the top, you see um, you have a very nice engraving on the inside of the box, which has the alien glyphs, and um, on the inside, you have this little manual. Now, if you're like me, you've watched about 18,000 of these unboxing videos, so I'm not doing anything that you don't know. But I mean, since it is an unboxing, a thorough unboxing, might as well go through all the proceedings. So um, this is the pamphlet that will contain all of the discs that are needed to um, restore the system if anything happens. And so um, just for example, it has the resource DVD. It has the manual here, which you can use to um, find out what the computer does. Um, specifications in it, I suppose. You have your safety and environmental, which uses more trees than, you know, that would help anything, so whatever. And then you, have, of course, here have your, like I said, the resource DVD to restore anything that you may have had on it. So alien effects, um, programs like that, that alien where it comes specially equipped, you use this DVD to put it back on if in case you fuck something up and you delete it. And um, last but not least, you have your Windows 7 Home Premium, which is in this CD as well. So in case you need to reinstall it on your Alienware, you have it right there. So um, it's actually pretty kind of them to do that because a lot of companies don't. Even when you buy computers that are consumer 
mainstream in stores like Best Buy and stuff, so they don't really come with all the CDs like that. So I have to admit, it is pretty decent of Alienware to do that. So, yeah. Now, in terms of the specifications I described earlier, um, I told you they're the best of the best. I went on the Alienware website and chose the best standard for every single category. So um, it was quite expensive. I won't say the exact price, but let's just say that it was well over 25 <laughs> Anyways, um, so now putting away this pamphlet, we are going to dive straight into the computer itself. Alienware over the years has actually simplest, um, made their um, packaging quite simple because um, there used to be a lot of things that they would put into the box, you know, like a mouse pad, a hat, but they made it really simple. The box now is a lot smaller than the box used to be in earlier unboxing videos that I witnessed. Anyways, we're moving the... Oh, wait, oh, there's one more thing I need to undo, and that's this. This box will contain all the power cords that are used to extend um, the power supply to the wall, so this way you can power up your laptop. Um, this is one of the cables, um, it's pretty cool. Now, in terms of this power brick, a lot of people were complaining because their Alienware, some people's Alienware came with a massive power brick. Mine is actually quite small. Some people on the unboxing videos I saw before had a power brick that was like two times the size of their hand, but this one isn't even my the full length of my hand, and it's quite skinny as well. Not only that, but it's pretty cool. It comes with this um, little rubber cable thing that you can use to, you know, wrap it up in case you're on the go or anything like that. But considering that my Alienware comes with a solid state drive, I guess it wouldn't use as much power as other computers would. And since it comes with the highest specifications, then I guess mine doesn't exactly need as much. But, you know, I'm talking out my ass. I don't know for sure, so don't quote me on that. And um, that's all that came into the box, so I'm just going to put these back in here. Okay. Now, I don't know about you guys, but when my Alienware was coming, I was looking at unboxing videos every day. Like, I could not stop, just for the fact that I was so anxious to get a computer. And so, this moment, I'm really glad to share with you guys because it means a lot to me in terms of the progress of the Ethical World Network and my life in general. And I mean, I know it may not mean the same thing to you guys, and it may not be as important to you guys, but, I mean, hopefully you can share into my happiness moment here. So, now the main components. Of course none other than the Alienware M14X itself. It's beautiful. Let me take off these big old phone things. Now, um, just for the sake of originality, I made sure that I purchased the, um, the Nebula Red version just for the fact that um, the red is nice and uh, my girlfriend is totally into red, so I figured the red would be a cool, cool thing to get. And it comes with this ultra sexy velvet um, dust protector thing. It protects against fingerprints and dust and such. You can wrap your dick around it. So, I mean, it's pretty cool. And pulling out the laptop itself. Oh, yes. The Alienware M14X R2. It's quite beautiful, isn't it? It's not as heavy as I imagined it to be. It's um, actually quite compact. It's like, not that bad. Now, um, in terms of the laptop, basically, my body my fucking body. But um, anyways, now, in terms of the laptop itself, I'm going to make sure that I take you through all the components and all the sides of it. So, here on the front, you have the top of the laptop, which is um, a pretty nice feel. It feels extremely sturdy. They said that it was made out of plastic, but it has a rubbery finish sprayed onto it, so it has a very nice sturdy feeling to it. The top just has the alien head. Um, it has the curves on the top, makes it look like a Lamborghini. And now, looking at the side of the laptop, on the right side, you have a wide array of ports that you can use for external connection to other devices. You start off with your HDMI port, which is right here, your VGA cable port, which is here. It's a HDMI in port. And you have um, one other smaller port here that I'm not exactly sure what it is. But you have a USB 2.0 port right here. And the thing about the USB 2.0 port is that it's powered. So you can plug something into it and have it charge even when the laptop is off. Um, you also have your microphone jack, which is right here. Two headphone jacks, which is useful if you have speakers connected and you want to use headphones at the same time. Not only that, and you have your 9-in-1 uh, media card reader right here. And not only that feature, but you also have a slot here which can be used for a SIM card. So you can have mobile 3G or 4G on the go with this computer. Now, on the left side, or at least your left side, you have the, um, the optical drive, the slot loader, which is a DVD burner. And um, you also have um, two USB 3.0 ports and a port for Ethernet and a Kensington lock, which is right there. 
Now that's on the um, left side of the laptop. On the back of the laptop, you just, not too much on the back, you just have a vent upon which heat is exhausted from and you have um, the power cord which is right in the middle of the back of the laptop which is pretty useful in my opinion. I mean it's a lot more convenient than say out the side you know just in case the ninjas come you know your, your laptop won't get you know fucking sideswiped and then on the front of the laptop you have the Alienware grills which are put in the front in earlier models the grills were used as a, um, as a fan system for where air was taken in or air was blown out I'm not too sure some people have it mixed up, but these are not used for anything else but aesthetic in the Alienware M14 XR2 now. It's all aesthetic. Nothing extra here. Now, um, also, just to clear one other thing up, a lot of people are misinformed about the Alien head on the top of the computer. It no longer comes in any different colors on any Alienware model now. All of them. The M17, 18, 14X. No more colors on the top on the Alien head. It was done to reduce space in the screen size, so I mean... It wouldn't be as thick, but yeah, so if in case you see people talking about the M14X is the only one that doesn't come with a multicolored head, no, it's all of the Alienware laptops. Now, on the back, it's quite convenient actually because the, or rather I shouldn't say the back, but the underbelly of the laptop, it, um, it comes with only two screws holding it together and it has a plate system which is locked into the computer, so when you undo the two screws, it just pops right up. But um, anyways, on the back, you have to the left the heat exhaust system where hot air comes out. On the right you have the fan system where cold air comes in and it blows fan on the it blows air on the um, I believe the, uh, the I believe the CPU is here. No not the CPU, the um, the RAM is here and the hard drive is here. Yeah, there you go. And um, as you'll probably see in the pictures that are zooming in on the screen at the moment, that I have my handle engraved on the alienware um, engraving sticker thing. Well it's metal which is um, uh, Iceman Edit, yeah, which is my handle for that. I mean, if you followed my older videos from when I started YouTube, you would see that my first name was Iceman, but so as I got older and did more things, I took the Iceman off because, you know, Etika is a lot more memorable, and it's a lot more original, too. I mean, how many motherfuckers do you know that are named Iceman? And um, pretty much, this is a very solidly built laptop. And also, on the bottom of the laptop, you have a subwoofer, which is right at the top upon where you open it. So that delivers extreme sound when you turn this thing on. I've heard a lot of people say that the sound on this laptop is better than some external speakers. And so now we get to the internal external laptop, uh, laptop stuff. Damn, this is really a nice screen. But anyways, inside, um, basic keyboard. Um, feels pretty nice. Nice feel. It's like a rubberized type thing. Everything is rubberized here. It feels so sexy. I don't know whether to turn it on or to rub my dick on it, but it, it's really nice. Um, the top panel, the top strip of the laptop has the, um, the micro, or rather the speakers, which um, could deliver excellent sound from what I've heard. And not only that, but um, one thing that I heard a lot of critique on is that the screen comes in a Gorilla Glass finish, which is not really good for gaming because um, it has a lot of reflection on the screen. But I don't think it'll be that much of an issue. Some people have said it's the worst thing they've ever encountered, and some people said they never even noticed it. So I'll see what happens. But um, regardless, um, this laptop looks extremely, extremely sturdy. And not only that, just to go over the features that this laptop came with again, it has a i7 Ivy Bridge 2.7 gigahertz processor, which can be turbo boosted up to 3.8 gigahertz. And um, the next feature that I think is really, really good on this is the fact that it has uh, 16 gigabytes of RAM, which is two 8 gigabyte RAM sticks, which are at 1600 megahertz. That also are DDR3, which is a pretty, pretty good like side of RAM. I mean, I wanted to get even more RAM just for the fact that I would like to do a lot of. Like, there's a lot of things I feel will be really RAM intensive that I use my computer for, but fuck it, 16 is good enough. And um, the next specification which I feel will impact the laptop greatly in terms of its performance is the fact that I installed a 256 gigabyte solid state drive on this thing. Now you guys know solid state drives are the most fucking expensive drives out there. I mean, it was extremely expensive. I could have gotten the 512, but it was a lot more money. It would have been 600 more dollars on the price of the damn laptop, and already the 256 gig costed 
a, it just cost a lot of money. It was an arm and a leg and a dick too. So I kind of just put that one to rest. But I mean, it still will be very efficient just for the fact that the solid state drive cuts loading times by like 300 or 400 percent itself. Um, the other specification that I had on it is the video card, which um, was a little underwhelming, but I still got the best of the best in terms of Alienware offering that too. The video card is a two gigabyte GeForce NVIDIA 650M graphics card that um, it's pretty good. I've seen um, Let's Plays of it and uh, it runs Crisis 2 at almost maximum frame rates and considering all the other features that I'll have on this computer I don't think Crisis will ever be a problem. Crisis is not a crisis for me. So um, all the specifications taken in, this computer should be able to do the job that I needed to do. Render my videos and let me like process, um, run servers if I need to. This computer seems like it'll do the job and not only that but I'll be able to take it wherever I go. So you know um, it's really good for a person like me who, you know, is always on the move, I'm never really home, I'm always working on a project or meeting people or um, brainstorming or just looking for ideas for videos. And now that I have this laptop, this is exactly what I'm going to be working on. The Etika World Network, my friends, from now until the distant future will be brought to you on this laptop. And so, thank you very much. I am going to upload another video quite soon, which will be my first impressions video of the laptop. Basically showing just what I think of its initial performance, like downloading videos and uh, just doing general computer stuff. Just to let you know what the internals of it would be. I would turn it on now, but that's not an unboxing. That's more of a first impressions type thing. So, yeah. And then after about maybe two or three weeks, I will come and deliver my full length review of the M14X R2, taking in all factors of consideration, making sure that I look at this thing in the whole general picture so I can deliver a full review. But um, anyway, so that'll be the format of a lot of things I do actually. It'll be an initial unboxing, then a first impressions, and then finally the ending review, which will be an overall wrap-up package. So I feel really confident in that fact. But um, anyways, Thank you very much for accompanying me on this new step of my journey. And um, the M14X, I think, will do a lot for me just as a video producer. And I'm sure it'll do a lot for you guys as being subscribers to my channel. And so if you have any inquiries that you would like to bring up with me, please feel free to message me in any means that you can. I also have a Facebook page, which I'll put in the description as well. And um, what else can I say? I'm Etika from the Etika World Network. Thank you for tuning in, and I will be bringing you content extremely soon. Please leave any inquiries that you have for me. I'm, I'm, I'm open to anything right now. Take care of yourself, and have a good one.